My name is Madison Harding. I am the Mad Harpist of Mad Harp Music Incorporated, and I'm the harpist for Violectric Music. So today I'm going to talk about strings on a harp. With lots of strings, occasionally you're going to have them break or wear out over time. So it's very important to know how to replace a string on your instrument. So as you can see, I have a broken string here. First I'm going to remove the old string from the base and the top, and you want to make sure you get all the pieces out of your harp. Otherwise, you can hear rattling sounds later on if the anchor's down in the harp. So then I have found the correct replacement string. As you can see, the strings are different sizes on the harp, and they come in different widths as well. Up top, they're very thin and short, and as you get closer to the bottom, they become wider and longer. This affects the sound, so you want to make sure you have the correct string for the placement on the harp. Also, the colors are important, because if you have the wrong colors, you won't know where you are when you are playing. So with the little strings, when you're placing it on the harp, you will need a string anchor. They're usually made of short segments of third octave or lower on the harp, cut down to little pieces. This is because if you just knot the string itself, it's going to pop right through the soundboard. Now, because it's up high, it's easier to put the string through the soundboard first and then tie it to the anchor. Otherwise, it's really hard to fish it through because you can't see. So through the hole in the harp, I put the string through long enough that I can tie the knot and attach the string to the anchor. So I'm going to start with a simple over-under knot and then put my anchor through and pull it tight. And then I'm going to go a second time around to make sure that the anchor is secure. If your anchor is not secure, it might slip out and the string could pop out of the harp or you could end up with the, the sound pitch slipping. Once I've tightened the anchor onto the string, I will pull the string all the way through and then I need my tuning key. Harp tuning keys are generally covered in rubber so in case you drop it, it won't damage your instrument. Now you want to make sure none of the discs or levers are touching the strings when you do this. I'm going to make sure I'm in flat position so that my strings are not being touched by the discs while I'm putting on the new string. Make sure you go around the groove here and then you're going to come up through the tuning peg. Sometimes it's easier to hold the extra length out while you do this so it doesn't get caught. Then I'm going to come down back around and create a knot around the tuning peg with the string. This is what's going to hold the string onto the harp as I begin to tune it. Okay. So once I've got the string initially wrapped on the peg, I'm going to twist the peg around at least one time so that the string starts to hold itself onto the tuning peg. And this is where I will start to, to tune it up. It's important to do this slowly and stretch out the string as you're doing it or you risk breaking the new string as you're putting it on. So sometimes it's good to have an electric tuner available to make sure the initial pitch is correct. And as you go through, you want to stretch out the string with your finger so that it, it gets loosened and will hold pitch better. Sometimes it takes several days for a new string to start holding pitch correctly. Um, but the more you stretch it out, the more likely it is to hold pitch. With the extra string, you'll want to trim so that it, it matches the rest. Some choose to leave it long for a few days so that you remember which string needs to be tuned more carefully while it's still new. If that's the case, you can wrap it around the pegs. Otherwise, you can use clippers and snap that right off, and that's how you replace a harp string.